Hello everyone. Uh, today in this video actually uh, we are going to work on section 7.5. This is an important section. It's about trigonometric equations. Uh, the equations that has trigonometric functions in it. We are going to try to solve, we are going to learn how to solve trigonometric equations. Okay. So first of all, what is a trigonometric equation? A trigonometric equation the equation that has trigonometric functions in it, okay? Normally when I say equation, you can consider, for example, 2x plus 5 is equal to 7, right? And you try to solve this equation for x. In this case, in, in the trigonometric equation case, we don't have x only, we, have also, we also have trigonometric functions. For example, sine of x plus 5 is equal to 7, or the sine of x. Okay, let's look at this example. How many solutions does sine theta equals one half half. So what's our equation? This is our equation, right? Sine theta is equal to one half. And we need to find the theta in this case, okay? And sine theta is equal to one half. And I, when we see that uh, value, we just, we all, we quickly remember the special triangle, right? 30, 60, 90, 60, 30, and 90, 1 root 3, sorry, 1, 2 root 3, 1, 2 root 3, root 3. Okay, maybe even I can, uh, I can do that. Let me do that on a, on the y and x axis, okay? So let me move this kind of a little bit up. Okay, so we just remember that special triangle, right? It is 30, 60, and 90, and one, two, root three, right? And when we look at this triangle, we see that sine 30 is equal to one half, right? So theta is equal to one half. Sorry, theta is equal to 30 degrees. But I can take this point and I can come this point after having a one full rotation, right? So theta is also is equal to 30 plus 360, right? So 390 degrees. Right, if I go counterclockwise, I get this this is degree, and that degree is again this, this point, right? But similarly, uh, I can continue one more, one more, one more, right? So I can add up another 360, another 360. So for example, if I add, uh, another, if I add up another 360, I will get uh, 750 degrees, right? There's also another solution. But I don't have to go Clock, counterclockwise, I can also go clockwise. So I can go backwards. So I can subtract 360s also, right? So 30 minus 360, which is negative 330, right? And I can keep subtracting and subtracting, right? So I can subtract, for example, negative 360 one more time. It will be negative 690 degrees, and so on and so forth. So to get this point, actually, the point here, I can, I have infinitely many angles, right? That gives that point. And it's not only the solution, right, for this case. Sine is also equal to one half on the opposite side here, right? Sine, if I take 30 here again, This time this is negative root three, this is one and this is two, right? And sine of this angle is also one half. And this angle is, of course, we don't look at here, but we look at this part, right, to get the angle. And that angle is also, uh, that angle is 150, right? So theta can be also equal to 150 degrees. But again, I can sum up or subtract 360 degrees to get the same point again and again, right? For example, if I add up, if I add 360, I will get 410 degrees. Another 360, 7, 
70 degrees. Or I can, as I, as I did in the previous case, I can also subtract 360s, right? If I subtract 360s, uh, what it does it make? Uh, negative 210. And if I subtract one more, 360, negative 570, if I'm not making mistakes. And again, it keeps continuing. So I can say that how many solutions exist for this equation? There are infinitely many solutions, infinitely many solutions, okay? The answer is infinitely many solutions. And this will be case actually for many uh, different uh, trigonometric function, uh, trigonometric equation problems, okay? In general, you will have infinitely many solutions. And in the next, uh, examples, we are gonna learn how to show these uh, infinite domain solutions in one expression. Okay, so let's look at general solutions. So solutions for all real numbers. A general solution is a formula that can be used to generate specific solutions. Okay, how do we find a general solution? There are two steps for that. First of all, we need to find all solutions between zero and 360. Remember in the previous example, we got 30 and one fifth, right? These are the all solutions for this sine theta is equal to one half equation between zero and 360. And we can just, uh, to get the general solution after getting those degrees, we just need to add two n pi, and n is an, in, an integer, so n is integer, okay? It can be negative integer, it can be positive integer. So, 2 pi, 4 pi. In other words, we are just adding 2 pi's or subtracting 2 pi's, right? Because n also can be a negative number, negative integer. So, and we know 2 pi is just 360 degrees, right? As we did in the previous example, we can add as many, or we can add or subtract as many 360's as we want. And to show that in a general, as a general solution, we just add 2 n pi. If it is sine or cosine, and we just add n pi if it is tangent, and again, n is an integer, and it can be negative or positive again. And uh, this is n pi for tangent because as we know, the period of tangent is a pi, right? So I can add as many pi as I want, or subtract. Okay, find the general solution for sine theta is equal to one half, with the same example, right? So the first solution was, 30 degrees and maybe, maybe I can write 30 degrees in terms of uh, radians because the general solution will be in terms of radians, right? I'm gonna use two n pi. So I can write and 30 degrees in radians is pi over six, right? So pi over six plus two n pi. This is the first solution, right? And also uh, the second set of solution is and uh, remember 150, right? Our initial, another solution was 150. And 150 makes five pi over six. Five pi over six plus two n pi, okay? And I'm adding two n pi because we have sine over there. All right? I hope it's clear. Solve cosine tau takes equal to one half for all real numbers given in its general solution, then list four solutions in both radians and degrees. Cosine theta is equal to one half. Again, these are spatial triangle, right? 30, 60, 90. And this time, uh, cosine 60 is one half, right? So if you want to draw the picture again, mm, it's not a straight line. Let me try to be more careful. Okay. All right, anyway. So 60 is giving us that, right? Be careful, this time this is 60, this is 30, this is 90, and this is one, this is root three, and this is two, right? That's why cosine is, as you remember, adjacent of hypotenuse, it's one, one, uh, one half. So the first set of set solution set will be uh, and 60 is pi over three. So I can write this way, pi over three plus, and this is cosine, so I should add two n pi, okay? 
This is in terms of radians, and I can write also in terms of uh, degrees, and to do so, I should say 60 plus. 2 pi is just uh, 360, right? 360 degrees times n, okay? But this is not the only angle right here that gives cosine is equal to one half. Uh, cosine is also positive in the fourth quadrant, right? That's why I have to take the symmetry of this point through the x-axis. Uh, this is again, although this is negative, right? It doesn't matter because cosine is using the adjacent part. This is 30. So this angle also gives cosine is equal to one half, but I, this is, I can also, I can maybe I write negative 60 or if you want, want to make it between zero and 360, that angle is also equal to 330 degrees, right? And in other words, uh, it is five pi over three. So if I convert to the degree regions, so the second solution set will be five pi over three plus two n pi, or three thirty degrees plus three sixty degrees times n. Okay. Again, I have two different sets of solutions. Each solution has infinitely many solutions in it. Each set actually has infinitely many solutions in it. And this is how you write the general solution, okay? You just find the solution and then add to n pi or 360n. All right, okay. Let me stop here for this video. In the next video, I will be working. <coughs> I will be working more in uh, how to solve trig equations, all right? So see you, uh, see you in the next video.